let me clear the screen and you need to run a command called fw ctl chain once you run this command you will see one inbound chain and one as outbound chain and this is how the packets you know process during the inbound chain and outbound chain so the inbound chain as we know the packet comes from the internet to your gateway and outbound chain is something the packet goes from your gateway to the internet this is how the communication happens so basically these are the verification stages of the packets uh, what uh, we will have for the troubleshooting purpose it's kind of difficult to read but uh, i like to you know help you to understand the few basic things here so whenever you do the troubleshooting it will be very helpful to you so as we know security gateway is divided in two modes or you can say in uh, two different part one you can say as your user mode and another is as a kernel mode so user mode we have two process i mean uh, two part one is your processes and one is your database in kernel mode we have again two parts one is your modules and one is your drivers and these two you would say part are connected via two processes one we call as input output controls and one is your traps so when user mode want to communicate with the kernel mode it says input output control parameters and then communicate to the kernel mode and when kernel want to communicate to the user mode it sets the traps and then it communicate to the user mode processes this is how the communication happens in a kernel when you troubleshoot a packet in a security gateway inbound and outbound packet flow in bound and outbound packet flow so consider you have some inbound so processes or packets uh, verifications and you have outbound processes and packet verifications and all this tag at the end with your os ip stack and then here your inbound and the outbound layers come and then the nick like that so here we have a different chain modules for the packet verifications likewise in outbound also we have a different uh, chain 
or packet verification models or processes or flow what you whatsoever you can call so the firewall kernel kernel consists of two completely separate logical parts as i said one is your inbound one is your outbound which completely represent the process of packets coming into and out from the firewall and here we have a different you know verifications happens verification part so each part of the kernel act independently and it does not assume that a packet was inspected or presented by the others so some functionality is implemented on both the side say in inbound side and some are an outbound side and there is a common processes here as well so each direction has its own you know order chain of modeling we call it like a pro packet processing handling the packet processing handling decides whether to continue terminate or hold the processing of uh, what decision makes accordingly so the inspection is performed on virtually whatever the deep fragmented packet happens during this process right so basically if you see this there is different parts when you can see there is some sort of numbers then this part this part and this part and this so there is a significant meaning of this uh, uh, i mean there is a significant meaning uh, have to all of this you know areas so let me tell you the important ones so this zero or the number one field it indicates module location in chain so it gives you details about model location in chain so as you can see what you know uh, things happens first it depends on this model location so obviously zero have the first priority then one then two then three four and so forth so whichever you will see as a zero it will process first then one it will process next to that like that then this the second part as you can see seven f f f all so that is we call as a chain position so chain position is something where your model is inside at which stage the model or the packet is in i mean not model which stage the packet is in is decided by the chain position so when you do in the troubleshooting of the packet these details are important and then there is something uh, the the next will or uh, you, you you are seeing here which is all zeros this we call as a functional or you can say function pointer so the it act like a pointer like whenever the packet comes in it divert it to the right direction you know as in a normal coding world how the pointer works the rule is similar here right and there is a 
report field this one which we call mode in which this chain is applied we call it as a modes in which this chain applies so basically if you look it closely you will see there is a numbers so you will see there is a ff there is 0 1 there is 0 2 there is 0 3 like that so ff stands for all packets which is also identical like 3 all packets 1 stand for stateful mode and 2 stand for wired mode or wired packets so as you can see if you say there is something like 1 we will call it like it's related to the stateful if you see something like 2 but we don't have wire more configured so we don't see the 2 that is something like wire packets right so I hope uh, these details will help you for your troubleshooting and thanks for watching this video have a good day